this is the talk of the hour flux point one uh, this is an image generator uh, in its open source and uh, the whole internet is talking about this and it's definitely going to be a big competitor for uh, mid journey and ideogram especially because uh, it's already available in api and anyone can use it and you can also use it for free uh, i just found out a way to use it for free if you are somebody who is using ideogram they were actually having some free plan earlier we had like 20 generations now it's only 10 generation per day so it's getting uh, strict and strict uh, day by day so in the near future I, I am confident that they will stop this free plan once they get more customers oh, this was one of the best image generator after like mid journey uh, especially when you need like uh, text to, uh, to be on the image uh, precisely i use it for uh, creating all my like youtube thumbnails uh, it makes my life so much easier and i am even thinking about cancelling my canva account uh, because uh, image generation is so much easier otherwise i had to like think for like one or two hours about how to actually go about the image uh, about the font selection color selection and uh, everything related to that uh, it's now making so much easier and uh, these are some of the image examples that you can see all images are of high quality and it can also do text really well as you can see uh, they have like uh, three models i have already covered this uh, in the previous video if you want a small introduction on what this can do uh, another thing that's coming is like uh, the video generator uh, is like a sneak peek of what's coming and yeah you can even generate uh, videos uh, that's real uh, lifelike videos uh, I believe it's going to be a real competitor for Sora. Uh, you can take a look at how good uh, it actually is. So uh, exciting company. The company's name is like uh, Black Forest Labs. And uh, this is uh, the most exciting thing that's happened after Sora. At least for me. Uh, so uh, why I started creating uh, this video, right? Uh, the main uh, why I create this video is because if you are looking for an ideogram alternative, and if you want to access it via API, uh, then you can do it right now. Uh, I found a way uh, to actually do that. Uh, in hugging phase, there is like uh, this space. Hugging phase, the Flux uh, developer version is available. Uh, the Pro version is uh, better than this one, but at least we can use it for free. And the image quality is also not that bad. Uh, if you want to try it out, you can just enter a prompt here. For example, a cat flying an aeroplane. let's just run it and see the quality of the image you can also uh, adjust the uh, height and width of the image uh, the guidance scale and the number of inference steps uh, the higher the number the better the quality and it takes uh, that longer and if you want the guidance scale uh, the higher the number uh, it will adhere to the uh, initial prompt so you can play around with it uh, from my testing i found like uh, uh, somewhere between uh, 9 and 12 gives the good results and here also between 30 and 40 uh, gives the good results so as you can see uh, the image is of really high quality uh, yeah this is much better than stable diffusion image at least for me and if you want uh, you can use it via api all you have to do is that you just need to refer the documentation and implement it i have already done uh, this uh, there are some limitations uh, you cannot just uh, go on and create like uh, 20 30 images all at once but uh, you can if you are not that a heavy user but if you want to generate like one or two images in one hour then this is a good option for you i am not sure how long it will be available uh, but uh, i have uh, uh, done the hard work and made it more like a usable app here uh, the make.com is actually free and uh, this hugging face is also free uh, uh, as long as this is available uh, this is free so there is no cost uh, in our part uh, to actually use this so for example uh, i have like uh, made one http request and 
um, uh, these are like uh, the settings but we have to have the hugging face api here uh, if you don't know how to get the hugging face api uh, you just need to create an account first uh, that's straightforward then you need to go to the settings and you need to click on this access token uh, just click on create new and uh, you can uh, do any of this but i will suggest you just select the read one and give it a name like something like test or something and here you will get the api key for hugging face so it's that easy to generate like an api key if you want to know more about how to connect uh, the hugging face api and to authenticate it and to get the 200 code uh, you can watch this video where i explain in detail now i am hoping that you know the basics and i am continuing with the explanation how we can actually use it on any of our use case uh, with make automation and once we have uh, once we refer the documentation so what i am doing here right I, as i have mentioned we just need the api key which i already have here then as per the documentation here i have this url here and a post request it's also given here and uh, the body type is the raw then json a cute cat uh, with the signboard subscribe to soft reviewed keep it in single quotes if i use double quotes this will bake the json code so a cute cat with the signboard uh, with the text subscribe to soft so okay now now the next step is to get that uh, request uh, and we are passing in the event id so this will generate an event id uh, which we will be using here this is a variable there is nothing more to add here uh, just uh, make sure that you have the api key here as well then uh, we need to parse that json uh, because uh, the the output of this uh, module is not in the uh, not straightforward there is like a data coming in front so we need to parse that json so that it can smoothly go to uh, this next module and that's why we use this function you can just uh, pause the screen and copy this exactly as shown here and uh, then uh, after uh, getting the correct uh, json code uh, we can uh, use uh, the url from that and we are passing it to get a file and it will download the file and it will go to our google drive uh, i have tried it like many times but uh, don't overdo it uh, this free version allows you to actually generate up to three or four videos in one hour then we will have to wait again so that's the only limitation and um, there is other limitation that i saw it you cannot go in and generate like 20 30 images in one go but if you are using really slowly then uh, you can use it uh, with the current limitations so this is how it works and if you let me just run it for you so that you can see the whole process so it's posting it and as you can see uh, it's giving us the event id here and this will take a while uh, because this is the actual image generation process that's happening and you can connect it connect it to your wordpress or a youtube or anything where you need to image uh, then it will automatically generate and post it for you you can uh, at the end you can connect it to any source that you want that's the beauty of this so you don't have to worry about doing any manual work to edit the text because the text is almost uh, like perfect every time we generate it that's the main reason why i really like it and if, just because this is free uh, it makes it even a sweeter tool for us to play with so uh, the data here is like uh, this is what we want but we don't need this a section uh, in the data uh, we only need this so that's what uh, this does and it outputs the file uh, url and path like we wanted and that url is passed uh, to this get a file and uh, finally the uh, output is in the google drive which we can just uh, refresh and see the file as you can see uh, subscribe soft reviewed uh, uh, this is the final out there's no spelling mistake 
and that's the reason why i really love this and this is free as well uh, hugging face is free uh, make.com is also free and all you have to do is just uh, go through this code and implement as i have sh shown you here uh, if you are uh, not good at learning this api documentation for example if you have like a new uh, module uh, in the make.com uh, i will have this in my store where you can download it uh, all you have to do is just click on this and import uh, this blueprint and just click on save and everything will get populated automatically just like this and you can just add your api key here and also say, set the source all the code is refilled here you don't have to do anything you can just use it um, with the click of a button so uh, that's it from me if you are interested you can check the links in the description i hope this was helpful if you would like to know more of these kind of uh, free and easy uh, tips that will help your automation uh, consider subscribing till the next video uh, thank you for watching and have a great day